Welcome back to Morning Joe at 42 past the hour. We were talking to you at the, almost this time yesterday. What's the reaction now in Paris to this shooting overnight on the heels of everything that happened yesterday? First, I just want to say thank our Christian God for television programs like Morning Blow. You know, kids these days are starting to get their news off the Internet. So if it weren't for programs like yours with professional journalists, you know, putting out the legitimate news, where else would kids go to learn what to be scared of? You know what I'm saying? As for the reaction here in France to the Charlie Sagbo terror attack, it's starting to look like America around here. You know, that's why they brought me over here. It's totally disrespectful behavior everywhere you look. You know, first off, just look behind me to see for yourself the reaction to police recommending that uh, people stay off the street and, and to shelter in place. Do you think that the, the, the French are having success in penetrating these uh, Muslim communities, getting information, and staying on top of this problem? Or are you seeing more polarization in France between the Muslim population and the government? If you're asking me whether these Muslims here in France are becoming more open to stop and frisk or being wiretapped, I'd have to say, no way, no. There are some on the far right of politics that are okay in cooperating, but the rest of these Muslims, as you and I know, are all terrorists looking to join the jihad on France and America. Sure, on the surface, they're like, la, 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 I'm just going to the organic market. I respect your freedoms. Don't pay any attention to me. But underneath that facade, they can't deny their genetic programming. At some point, they all become suicide bombers. As far as the French authorities penetrating these Muslim communities, I think they're doing a piss poor job of it. However, I have to place some of the blame for this on the suits that withhold the funding these operations need to achieve their goals. I believe the entire anti-terrorism effort only receives about a hundred million dollars a year. That's it, total, for the whole country. Back in America just last week, Congress tossed an extra hundred and sixty million dollars to the NYPD for their anti-terrorism efforts. That was like chunk change to the NYPD. I think their total budget to fight the towel heads is like $2 billion. Do you think there'll be a political reaction among French people who've been voting for these far-right parties supporting uh, tougher measures and a crackdown? Let me tell you a little story. Back in the States, I was going through the drive through at Burger King, and I didn't have a lot of time to wait around for any hajis to get their cups of water. So the car in front of me is talking to the cashier and digging around in their car for change or something. The bottom line, I was done waiting around and these people were impeding justice, okay? So I did the polite thing. I got on the PA and I said, police business, move your car forward. But they just turned and looked back at me. I repeated the command to move their car and then a little girl in the front passenger seat, the sweet little innocent girl who wouldn't hurt a fly, starts making a call on her cell phone. So. I immediately called in the dispatch for backup and to alert the terrorism unit. The dispatcher informs me that the unit is all tied up and they estimated a seven minute response time. So I did all I could think to do. I revved up the engine and I rammed the car forward about 30 feet into some bushes. And thank God it forced the phone to fly out of that girl's hands. My fear was that she was attempting to, to detonate a bomb they planted somewhere in the drive through line. They would have been like pow, pow, pow. Pow, boom, splash, pow. So after ordering everyone to leave the premises, the bomb squad found some kind of electronics in the Burger King statue where you place your order. So they had to block the Burger King and the whole situation tied up like six hours of something like 30 officers and agents. There's no saying whether there was a bomb planted in the Burger King. We didn't even have enough agents to respond to that situation for seven whole minutes. If I hadn't rammed the car forward and prevented that phone call, who knows how much human life it might have cost. So clearly France is just setting itself up for a massive terror attack like that one by not properly funding the departments that need the money so desperately. The, the stage in France seems to be set uh, for the most extreme type of showdowns because there is such a remarkable schism between uh, progressives in Paris and 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 the fundamentalists uh, that uh, are offended by the, this type of speech. 
Well, I'd like to make a distinction between the progressives that do the critical work of selling government plans to the world's populations and the lefty liberal progressives that are free love hippies against the government. Okay, so now that we have that clear, I will say that these progressives and the fundamentalists are both wackos. A couple of them approached me earlier and tried to convince me that the recent Charlie Gabo attack was a hoax. And that's what we're dealing with here. They say that there's a Mossad field office just up the street from where the attack took place. Not true. They say that uh, the editor who was killed, his girlfriend that came forward to the media, never was that close to him. Not true. They say it was unusual the media ran with low resolution video of the attack when they were provided with high definition video. Not true. These are all claims being made by internet conspiracy theorists. They do it just to stir up controversy and to feel special about themselves. A lot of these weirdos blame Israel and the Jews for the Fagbo attack here in France. I've been taking down their names because I think they need to be watched. They don't understand the repercussions from spreading their views. I asked the viewers watching right now in the US, do you think spreading views like that will force Israel to stage more or fewer terror attacks? Think about it. We'll discuss this more coming up. It was an attack on freedom of speech and satire. We'll take a look at how the world's comedians and cartoonists responded next.